everyone welcome to agro mys academy hope you are all are fine so let's begin a new topic that is environment national green tribunal ngt the ngt has imposed a penalty of rupees 25 lakh each on the states of bihar jharkhand and west bengal for not taking adequate steps to curb pollution in the river ganga the ngt was established in 2010 under the ngt act 2010 for effective and expeditious disposal of cases relating to environmental protection and conservation of forests and other natural resources it can enforce any legal right relating to environment and giving relief and compensation for damages to person and property next one is white stem borer It's a picture over here, picture of white stem borer. White stem borer, Xylotrichus quadripes, is a serious pest of Arabica coffee, causing a yield loss up to forty percent in all coffee growing areas of India. It is a blackish brown coloured beetle, measuring about two centimeter in size. Next one is forest as living entities. The map over here for uh, any type of query regarding doubts, you can contact us. Number is triple eight three four five six eight nine three, and also you can join our Telegram channel that is Agram IAS. Okay. E. L. Salvador has in a historic move recognized forest as living entities. its citizens will now be required to preserve forest e l salvador has lost about 85% of its native forests since the 1960s while earth has lost about 80% of its native forests next one is bs norms bs stands for bharat stage okay uh, this is a picture over here i request you all just go with it thoroughly the percent criteria of diesel cars as well as heavy duty vehicles okay bharat stage norms are the automatic emission norms which the automotive manufacturers have to comply to sell their vehicles in india these norms are applicable to all two wheelers three wheelers four wheelers and construction equipment vehicles to curb growing menace of air pollution through vehicles emission the government of india has decided to leap frog from the existing bs4 norms to the bs6 thereby skipping the bs5 norms only those vehicle which comply to bs6 norms will be sold and registered in india from 1st april 2020 onwards the norms are stringent and at par with global standards next one is asiatic lion okay is a asiatic lion the entire genome of asiatic lion has been sequenced by scientists from csir central for cellular and molecular biology hyderabad iucn red list status it's an endangered listed in schedule 1 of wildlife protection act 1972 in appendix 1 of convention on international trade in endangered species that is cites sits sits at present the only home of asiatic lion is jhir national park and wildlife sanctuary in gujarat the population of the endangered asiatic lion is very low only 523 animals are present in the jhir forests next one is bond challenge The Bond Challenge is a global effort to bring 150 million hectares of deforested and degraded land into restoration by 2020 and 350 million hectares by 2030. It was launched in 2011 by the government of Germany and UN Environment Program that is UNEP at the UNFCCC Conference of Parties COP 2015 in Paris 
India also joined the voluntary bond challenge pledged to bring into restoration 13 million hectares of degraded and deforested land by 2020 and additional 8 million hectares by 2030. India's pledge is one of the largest in Asia. For end of query, doubts, admission, test series, you can contact us. Our number is 888 Also, you can join our Telegram channel that is Agram IAS. Okay. Next one is Kelp Forests. Okay. Kelps are large brown algae seaweeds that can survive freezing temperatures and long periods of darkness and even grow under sea ice. Kelp forests help protect coastlines by decreasing the power of waves during storms and reduction coastal erosion. Kelp forests throughout the world play an important role in coastal economies, supporting a broad range of tourism, recreational and commercial activities. Kelp is a coveted food source in many countries full of potassium, iron, calcium, fiber, and iodine. Next one is Asian forest tortoise. A picture over here of a tortoise. Okay, the Asian forest tortoise, also known as the Asian brown tortoise, is endemic to Southeast Asia. It is known to be the largest tortoise in mainland Asia and is believed to be among the most primitive of living tortoises. It has been categorized as critically in the endangered by IUCN. Captive breeding of these tortoise species is done in Manipur, Mizoram and Nagaland zoos. Next one is Royal Bengal Tiger. The Bengal Tiger is found primarily in India with smaller populations in Bangladesh, Nepal, Bhutan, China and Myanmar. It is the most numerous of all tiger subspecies with more than 2500 left in the wild. The creation of India's tiger reserves in the 1970s, Project Tiger in 1973 helped to stabilize numbers but poaching has once again but the Bengal tiger, tiger at bricks. But the Bengal tiger address, the mangroves of the Sundarbans shared between Bangladesh and India are the only mangrove forests where tigers are found. The Sundarbans are increasingly threatened by sea level rise as a result of climate change. Next one is Resilient Kerala Program. The Government of India, the Government of Kerala and the World Bank signed a loan agreement for the Resilient Kerala program to enhance the state's resilience against the impact of natural disasters and climate change. This program represents the first state partnership of the World Bank in India. Next one is Web Banded Lake. This is a map over here and picture also. Just go with it thoroughly. Wem Bennett is the longest lake in India and the largest lake in the state of Kerala. It is known as Wem Bennett Lake in Alpa Juha, Punnamada Lake in Kutanant, and Kochi Lake in Kochi. The Nehru Trophy Boat race is conducted in a portion of this lake. Government of India has identified the Vebanand wetland under National Wetlands Conservation Program. Okay, next one is Arogya Pacha. Okay, scientists from the University of Kerala has decoded the genetic makeup of Arogya Pacha, Trichopus J. Lenicus. It is a highly potent medicinal plant endemic to the Agastya Hills. The, this miracle plant is known for its traditional use by the Keni tribal community. It's a 
community over there, Kenny tribal community, to combat fatigue. Studies have also proved its varied properties such as antioxidant, antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, anti-ulcer, anti-tumor, and anti-diabetic. Next one is Ganges River Dolphin. Okay. The Ganges River Dolphin is primarily found in the Ganges and Brahmaputra River and their tributaries in Bangladesh, India, and Nepal. The Vikram Shila Gangetic Dolphin Sanctuary from Sultan Ganj to Kahal Ganj on the Ganga in Bihar is the only dolphin sanctuary in the country. The Ganges River Dolphin has been recognized by the government of India as the national aquatic animal. It is the official animal of the city of Guwahati. Next one is National Policy on Biofuels. The features over here on this picture, just go with it thoroughly. These are the features. Okay, the Union Cabinet has approved the National Policy on Biofuels 2018 in order to promote biofuels in the country. The policy expands the scope of raw material for ethanol production of allowing the use of sugarcane juice, sugar beet, sweet sorghum and starch containing materials like corn, damaged food grains like wheat, broken rice, Roton potatoes unfit for human consumption can be used for ethanol production. Farmers are at a risk of not getting appropriate price for their produce during the surplus production phase. Taking this into account, the policy allow us of surplus food, food grains for production of ethanol for blending with petrol. The policy encourages biodiesel production from non-edible oil seeds and used cooking oil. Next one is National Center for Polar and Ocean Research, that is NCPOR. Six Himalayan glaciers monitored by the NCPOR have been retreating in the range of 13 to 33 uh, millimeter per year. NCPOR functions under the Ministry of Earth Sciences. The NCPOR has established a high altitude research station named Himansh, Himansh in Himalayas at 4000 meters altitude at a remote location in Lahul Spiti district of Himachal Pradesh. The NCPOR has also been doing research in the Arctic region and the Antarctica continent. This is the uh, picture over here of melting Himalayas. Just go with this picture thoroughly. Okay. Next one is Mosaic Mission. It stands for Multidisciplinary Drifting Observatory for the study of Arctic climate. Scientists from 17 nations will take part in this year long mission in the Arctic Sea to study climate change. Next one is Orchid Census. The Botanical Survey of India has come up with the first comprehensive census of orchids of India putting the total number of orchid species to 1256. A state-wise distribution of orchid species point out the Himalayas, north northeastern part of the country and western ghats are the hot spots of the beautiful plant species. The highest number of orchid species is recorded from Arunachal Pradesh, 612 species from there, followed by Sikkim, 560 species are there. Entire orchid family is listed under Appendix 2nd of SIDS, Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora and hence any trade of wild orchid is banned globally. Green Climate Fund that is GCF. It is established within the framework of the UNFCCC 
as an operating entity of the financial mechanism. It assists developing countries in adaptation and mitigation practices to counter climate change. The GCF is based on Incheon, South Korea. Next one is Plan B. The Indian Railways has come up with an initiative called Plan B to prevent speeding trains from hitting elephants crossing tracks. The plan involves setting up a device near tracks which emit the buzzing sound of swarming bees considered as a natural nemesis of elephants. Okay, just go with this news thoroughly. Okay, Indian rhinosaurs. The picture of a rhinosaurs and a map over here. Okay, the preferred habitat of an Indian rhinosaurs is alluvial fl fl fluid plains and areas containing tall grasslands along the foothills of the Himalayas. In India, rhinos are mainly found in Kaziranga National Park, Pobitora Wildlife Sanctuary, Orange NP minus NP, NP stand for National Park in Assam, Jalda Para National Park and Garu Mara National Park in West Bengal and Duduwa Tiger Reserve. The Indian rhino has a single horn which is present in both sexes as well as male or in female. It is the largest of all the Asian rhinos. The rhino is the fourth largest land animal. Tamil Yeoman. This is a butterfly picture over here. Okay. Tamil Yeoman Kiro Proha Thais, a butterfly species endemic to Western Ghats, has been declared the state butterfly of Tamil Nadu. This is quite important. Tamil Nadu is the fifth state to declare its state butterfly. Maharashtra was the first to declare Blue Mormon as its state butterfly, followed by Uttarakhand Common Peacock, Karnataka Southern, Southern Bird Wings, and Kerala Malabar Banded Peacock. Next one is Long Period Average, that is LPA. LPA is average rainfall received by the country as a whole during the southwest monsoon for a 50 year period. The current LPA is 89 cm based on the average rainfall over the years 1951 and 2000. This acts as a benchmark against which the rainfall in any monsoon season is measured. IMD brands the monsoon as normal or deficient based on how it fares against its benchmark long period average that is LPA. Deficient rainfall, rainfall below 90% of LPA, excess rainfall, rainfall greater than 110% of LPA, normal rainfall, rainfall between 96 and 104% of LPA. These are the like a percentage of LPAs. Okay. Next one is green bonus. This is the map over here. Just go with it thoroughly. 11 states belonging to Indian Himalayan region sought green bonus from the central government considering their contribution in environment mission. Fall army worms. <clears throat> and next one is fall army worms, that is FAMS. In India, fall army worms found suitable environmental conditions and appropriate host plants which accelerated its spread. Fawns is an invasive and polyphagous pest feeding on many foods. It can attack carols and forage grasses. Fawns primarily feeds on maize but can consume rice, cotton, sugarcane and some vegetables also. Next one is All India Tiger Estimation 2018. There is a uh, graph over here. I request you all to just go with this thoroughly. Okay. 
As per All India Estimation 2018, there is 33% rise in tiger numbers from 2014 estimation. Madhya Pradesh saw the highest number of tigers at 526, closely followed by Karnataka at 524, with Uttarakhand at number 3 with 442 tigers. The country achieved its commitment to the St. Petersburg Declaration of doubling tiger population much in advance to the 2022 deadline. Next one is Kodai Kanal Malai Pundu. This is a basically it's a hill garlic we can say. Okay. The geographical indications registry has granted a GI tag to Kodai Kanal Malai Pundu also known by its scientific name Allium sativum. This particular garlic is known for its medicinal, antioxidant, antimicrobial and preservative properties. It is grown in the Kodai Canal Hills, Dingdugul District, Tamil Nadu. Next one is Laboratory for the Conservation of Endangered Species, that is Lacons. It's a laboratory for the endangered species. Okay, Lacons has helped to increase the population of mouse deer in Telangana forests. Lacons is India's only facility for conservation of endangered species using modern biotechnology. It is a facility of CSIR's Centre for Cellular and Molecular Biology that is CCMB in Hyderabad. Amrabad Forest, Telangana, for instance, ran out of mouse deer and through the efforts of lacons, the animal is now reintroduced in Amrabad Tiger Reserve. Lacons has a DNA bank of more than 250 species of mammals, birds and reptiles. Next one is tree plus forest cover as percentage of total geographical area. This is the graph over here for top six and bottom six. Just go with it thoroughly. Okay, next one is International Renewable Energy Agency that is IRENA. Okay, IRENA is an intergovernmental organization mandated to facilitate cooperation, advance knowledge and promote the adoption and sustainable use of renewable energy. It is the first international organization to focus exclusively on renewable energy, addressing needs in both industrialized and developing countries. It was founded in 2009 and is headquartered in Abu Dhabi. IRENA is an official UN observer. Next one is Mika Mining. Over 5,000 children abandon education in Mika Mining districts. Arkhand and Bihar. It is one of the world's largest producers of Mika with Jharkhand and Bihar being the main producing states. Mika is used in various sectors including buildings and electronics. Mika is also used in the production of cosmetics and paint. Next one is Ozudu Lake. The Ozudu Lake is identified as a wetland of national importance under the National Wetlands Conservation Program of the Ministry of Environment and Forests. It has also been declared one of the significant wetlands in Asia by the Asian Wet Wetland Bureau. An important bird sanctuary located between the Puliket and Point Kalime wetlands, the Osudu Lake around 800 acre spreads equally in Puducherry and Tamil Nadu territories. Osudu is a mix of reed beds, wetlands and huge stretches of water. Next one is Global Soil Biodiversity Atlas. India's soil biodiversity is in grave peril according to the Global Soil Biodiversity Atlas prepared by the Worldwide Fund for Nature. Soil biodiversity encompasses the presence of microorganisms, microfauna, 
nematodes etc and macrofauna ants termites and earthworms next one is iucn red list of threatened species iucn red list categories i request you all to go with this picture thoroughly these are the, uh, like uh, oh, picture is there and uh, okay the iucn red list of threatened species in, is the world's most comprehensive inventory of the global conservation status of plants and animal species with its strong scientific base the iucn red list is recognized as the most authoritative guide to the status of biological diversity the rate of population decline and geographic range are considered to assess the extinction risk of a given species the latest update to the iucn red list of threatened species shows that more and more species assessed are being threatened with extinction for any type of query like test series admission you can contact us our number is 888 345 Six eight nine three. Next one is tardy grades. In April two thousand nineteen, an Israeli spacecraft attempted to land on the moon, but crashed on the surface. It was carrying a number of items, including thousands of specimens of a living organism called tardy grade. Okay, tardy grades often called water bears. are creatures under a millimeter long that can survive being heated at 150 degree centigrade and frozen to almost absolute zero the tardigrade is among the toughest and most resilient creatures on earth okay the tardigrade can only be seen under a microscope half a millimeter long it is essentially a water dweller but also inhabits land and can survive in the cold vacuum of outer space the tardigrade can endure extreme hot and cold temperature levels next one is kazin sara lake this is a lake over here kazin sara lake okay kazin sara lake in manang district of nepal which was discovered recently is all set to become popular as the world's highest lake this is quite important once it happens the kazin sara lake will replace tilichu lake which is also located in manang nepal from the number on one spot okay next one is gharial i request you all to just go with this map thoroughly okay gharial prefers deep fast flowing rivers however adult gharial have also been observed in still water branches is called jheel of rivers historically gharial was found in the river system of india pakistan Bang bangladesh and southern part of bhutan and nepal today they survive only in the waters of india and nepal the surviving population can be found within the tributaries of the ganges river system son ramganga gandak chambal and mahanadi odisha gharials are listed in schedule 1 of wildlife protection act 1972 iucn red list category is showing that it's in critically endangered odisha is only state in india having all three species that is gharial mugger and salt water crocodile okay uh, next one is goga beel lake goga beel and ox bowl lake in bihar's katihar district has been declared as the state's first community reserve goga beel lake is formed from the flow of the rivers mahananda and kanhar Mahananda and Kankhar in the north and Ganga in the south and east it is a 15th protected area that is PA 
बिकॉज इन बिहार गोगा बील इज अ परमानेंट वाटर बॉडी एंड इज होम टू मेन माइग्रेटरी बर्ड स्पीसीज मोर देन नाइन्टी बर्ड स्पीसीज हैव बिन रिकॉर्डेड फ्रॉम दिस साइट ऑफ विच अबाउट थर्टी आर migratory bird species next one is ogjo kuli glacier the picture over here of a glacier the ogjo kuli glacier become the first glacier in island lost due to climate change what was once a glacier has been reduced to a small patch of ice ice top ice atop a volcano okay next one is globally important agricultural heritage system g h g i a h s g i a h h s are outstanding lands landscapes of aesthetic beauty that combine agricultural biodiversity resilient ecosystems and a valuable cul cultural heritage it is designated by food and Cult agriculture organization fao these agricultural systems are threatened by many factors including climate change and increased competition for natural resources these ancestral agricultural systems constitute the foundation for contemporary and future agricultural innovations and technologies the sites in india designated as hyas are kutand below sea level farming system kerala this is a picture over here and kora put traditional agriculture odisha and saffron heritage of kashmir the picture over here okay rooftop solar this is a uh, graph over here request you all just go with this thoroughly okay karnataka has emerged as the best state for setting up rooftop solar projects according to the state rooftop solar attractiveness index saral released by the ministry of new and renewable energy mnre Telangana Gujarat Andhra Pradesh come next in the rankings but all four have been graded A++ Saral has been designed by the MR MNRE to encourage each state to assess the initiatives taken so far and what it can do to improve its solar rooftop ecosystem government has set, set a target for installation of roof rooftop solar projects that is rts of 40000 megawatt by 2022 india's renewable energy target by 2022 this is the picture over here okay so let's end a topic and um, take care all of you stay home stay safe and keep doing your revision properly thank you